So, uh, I mean, in conclusion, what I really wanted to say was that, uh, you know, we are trying to solve actual problems, right? Um, and, uh, you know, not only do you want to save time, at the same, uh, save time, but at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice on the quality of the work. And AI is the next step to help you do that, right? I had first said to the AI bandwagon, uh, and you can't really call it a bandwagon now because it's a reality now, right? AI is all around. So we are already in the process of it. Uh, and we want to, you know, fix real world problems, right? Like helping you predict uh, how much time it will take to deliver the feature, right? And helping you navigate uh, that in case there are some delays, right? It will help you eliminate waste within your FTLC, right? Maybe there is a lot of waiting time going around while handover within the different teams, right? Uh, we want to eliminate that as well by indicating you to you that there is a base associated here. You might want to look at that, right? And of course, when you have all of the data and analytics presented to you in a fashion that is understandable to you with actionable insights, uh, with the ability for you to fix those issues as well, that is when uh, as, as a customer or as a user, you will make better informed decisions that will uh, allow you to output a better quality product. Uh, you know, some of these AI are already, uh, you know, so the demo that I showed to you was uh, uh, was basically a, a rendering uh, that will come in the future. Releases. Some of them are already a reality. For example, you can already use Aviator to create the dashboard that you want. Uh, you can already use aviators to get the actionable insights that you want. Some of the other uh, features, like automatically creating automated test cases, will be coming in the uh, it's, uh, coming releases, uh, and also uh, predicting the timelines for your uh, releases and your features uh, will come in as soon as the next two releases. Right? They're already in books. And uh, uh, soon enough, you know, within six months or a year of a year of time, the AI that I just told you uh, will be a, a will be a full reality, uh, helping you enhance your processes. Right? With the AI that is already available, our existing customers have noticed a difference. Right? They have noticed a difference in the test coverage, almost fifty percent increase. They have noticed a difference in reduced uh, test creation time improve testing time and even reduce maintenance, right? Uh, so the AI that we have introduced is already helping our customers and we plan to keep adding more and with every release that we do, we keep on adding these new functionalities. Yeah. Uh, so that was it for me. Uh, I know you guys might have a lot of questions, so feel free to uh, put that in the comment box and me and my team will uh, try our best to answer those questions. And of course, if uh, the content in the webinar interests you and you like and you know, you're excited about what we are trying to bring here, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to have a demo or a presentation uh, ready for you uh, so that we can explain to you the nitty gritties of our product team. Okay, thanks, Alan. Uh, so we come to the Q&A section of our uh, webinar. So I would request everyone to put in their uh, queries or questions in the chat box. We'll uh, try to answer most of them. While Salat, uh, you can have a look at the questions that have come. Uh, you can try answering some of them. Sure. So, uh, Shahrukh has asked here that what's the difference and benefit for or same as compared to chat GPT or other AI tools? Well, uh, well, it's you can assume that it's similar to what chat GPT does. Chat GPT does, uh, you know, when it comes to AI, one thing that needs to be understood here is that 
uh, currently the AI you use is geared towards a particular use case, right? So chat GPT serves a particular use case where you can 